Podcasting is networking. Cafe Networking Podcast promotes entrepreneurs, business experts throughout the world. I'm Tom Riach, an American known as the king of networking, connecting people and speaking from my studio in Brazil. And today we talk with Jeff Cohen, and he's joining us from Glendale, California. Jeff Cohen is CEO and founder of Sea level Roundtable. He's author of the new book, Countable, a practical guide to lift, shift, and empower you and your team. It's the new way to supercharge, create trust, loyalty, and empowerment in your company. So, Jeff, what does it mean to be countable? Well, first off, it's count onable. Count onable, right. Count onable. So I just want to make sure that everyone gets that. Um, and I get it. Like, it's a long word. It's a new word. And it's fine. There's no problem. But it is count onable. And here's what it means. It means you get to give up all of the ways that you have been being around holding people accountable. And all of the forcing and all of the pressure and all of the um, negatives that go with being accountable. Mm -hmm. And you get to actually take pride of ownership in what you do. And more importantly, what you don't do. Because frankly, wow. people say, you can count on me for this and you cannot count on me for that. And when they say you cannot count on me for something, there's often a penalty. Right. So I've developed a system that eliminates the penalty. Mm. But most people I find, they don't want to say that you can't count on me for that. They just say, you can count on me, but then you find out later that you really can't. Well, right. It's the best way to waste mm -hmm. weeks and weeks in a company and impact your personal lives and friendships. Um, I have learned by using this system, which by the way is published in the book, literally a practical guide, mm -hmm. step by step. You can do it yourself. Um, I have learned by using this system, I am able to identify when I'm triggered, but more importantly, I can tell you, hey, Tom, I've just been triggered. I need a minute to sort myself out before I answer you, or can we have this conversation later? Right. And I can't tell you how many arguments I have shifted with my wife mm. by being able to just acknowledge I'm triggered and this is a bad time to actually dive in. Can you wait a few minutes? Right. And many times we dive in just because we think that's the way to do it. Well, I think it's true. And I think also what happens is people get defensive. Mm -hmm. You know, you get a call four o'clock on Friday afternoon from your boss. Hey, Tom, where's that program that you said you were going to have to me three weeks ago? Right. Right. And now you're in a defensive posture and you might be working on something else. You're not even thinking about it. Right. But now you're being pressed for something that, you really didn't want to do. It didn't cater to your strengths. You may not really be good at it. And certainly it's something you don't like doing or you would have jumped on it right away. Mm -hmm. And so maybe you're the leftover. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. But how do you know that it is something that's left over? Well, I, I, I agree because I've been there. You know, people say, why are they calling me? But, you know, but I just feel maybe I'm the only guy around. Right. Well, that's just it. So I, I worked with over 300 CEOs, business owners, and entrepreneurs to create and um, iterate the system to where I could write a book about it mm -hmm. and help people understand that there is a way of doing things that can avoid triggering people, that can save a leader two to three hours a week in hearing reasons why, mm -hmm. and that can empower their people to lead and create more people that are leaders in their company. Because the number one thing that happens when you do that, Tom, mm. is you get to have a life. Uh, like you actually get to go on vacation, right? Right, without being on business calls for two to four hours a day. And ultimately, when you want to sell your company, mm. guess what? You don't have a five-year earnout. You're actually able to sell it and walk away with the cash because there are other people that have been building and growing your company with and without you. I think that's a good and experience you a, you've had because when, when we talk and you say you're, you're at sea level round table, uh, my experience shows me the most sea level type persons were, were never in a round table. They're on one side or the other of a desk. And so if you, and uh, I guess you have been able to engage with them in a circuit or fashion. 
uh, in peer encounters, and that's important. It is. Um, I think the number one thing that happens is we're all looking for um, what's in our blind spot, especially when we're running a business. Mm -hmm. And the number one thing that I found in our blind spot is this notion of effective communication. Right. And I found it by running 50 CEOs through the round table for a year, looking at what was not working in our business. Mm -hmm. And Tom, I have a really short story I want to tell about effective communication. Go ahead. I was in San Diego with some friends just a month ago. We, uh, my, my wife and, and her friend went out to an event. Her husband and I took his seven-year-old and my one-year-old foster daughter out to dinner in a wagon. And on our way back from dinner, we were going to frozen yogurt and I turned my head and my one-year-old was standing up holding the side with this look of fear in her eyes and a tear running down her face. Oh. And I had my friend stop. Well, the seven-year-old didn't know. She, she just, like, she doesn't know how to sit safely yet. Mm. And she's a moving vehicle. Mm. And, but she knows how to stand up. And I said to the seven-year-old after I hugged my daughter and put her back in, I said, did you notice she was standing? Because she was looking at her device. Uh. And she said to me, I told you. I said, oh. Mm. I said, um, can I ask you a favor? She goes, sure. I said, if that happens again, can you make sure that I heard you and that I answer you? Uh -huh. She said, got it. Went right back to her video game and it was done for her. Right. But not for me. So I do what I do in business and with other people. And I simply said, Hey honey, I'm just curious. Mm. What'd you get? And she was looking at her video game for about 15 seconds and I didn't move and I didn't say anything. And then she picked her head up and she said, you want to make sure that I hear you answer me. Ah. I said, that's exactly right. I will be so grateful when you do that. Thank you. Right back down to the video game. Now, that's an example of an effective communication, but it also shows that had I not taken that extra step, mm. what's likely to have occurred is she would have gone right back down to her video game right. and forgotten it, but now it locked in. So effective communication is the key. The book is Count Onable. My website is www.countonable.com. Mm -hmm. It's spelled C-O-U-N-T-O-N-A-B-L-E.com. And I invite you to come and download the first chapter if you want to um, check it out. Uh, you can also download all of the assets for how you can use this patent pending process in your business. And it's open source, anybody can use it. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Reach out to me on the site. I'm happy to either answer you personally or have one of my people do it because we want to see you have that power and empower your people. And to that point, I'm sure you're going to answer. Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> either that or your foster daughter. Somebody will answer. You can do it. <laughs> We're going to train her to lead like businesses by the time she's three. So she'll be good. Oh, she'll be teaching you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, Jeff, I want to thank you for sharing your time and your experience and congratulate you on the book and your method. And I'm sure it's going to help people create trust, loyalty, and empower themselves and their company. Thank you so much, Tom. It's a pleasure to be here. And for any of your listeners, I would be ecstatic to hear from you. Please don't hesitate to reach out. Very good. And one more time, you can remember, it's Jeff Cohen, J-E-F-F. -F, the last name is C-O-H-E-N. Find him on LinkedIn. And as he said, www.countonable.com, right? And there are like 2 million Jeff Cohens out there. Just know you need to put another search term in there like Jeff Cohen Shark Tank, although there were two of us on there the same season, or Jeff Cohen Count Onable. But you will be able to find me. There is something unique about me in the world. Well, or Jeff Cohen talking to Tom Reock, that will be it. <laughs> that is perfect. There you go, Tom. Take care. So Cafe Networking is brought to us by Focus MI Market Intelligence, an agricultural market research specialist in Brazil, and more information on their website, focusmi.com. Thanks for listening. Until the next time here at Cafe and Networking Podcast. <laughs>